Going on special assignment, technology is prevalent now more than ever. It's accessible by just about anyone, and it's landing in the tiny hands of toddlers in the form of screen time. Even though they seem to catch on fast, I wanted to find out if having a tech-savvy toddler is a good thing. With the most brilliant color ever. Since the introduction of television, parents have been regulating screen time. They're so real, you'll think you're there. Around the 90s, the popularity of home computers grew. And now, there's tablets and smartphones. Here we go. That's where Generation Alpha comes in. Yeah. Known as the generation born with an iPad in its hand. Things like painting and coloring and cutting and dancing and singing and listening to music and climbing and throwing balls and kicking balls. That's the stuff that kids need to be doing. Dr. Natalie Bowman is an associate professor of educational theory and practice at MSUB. She sees parents using smart devices in ways that aren't exactly beneficial to toddlers. If we get into, into the realm of just using it to occupy our time or to entertain, you know, especially with kids, that's not the best use of their time. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends babies and toddlers 18 months and younger stay away from screen time. And for toddlers two and older, they should just be limited to one hour a day. But the reality is parents sometimes rely on screen time as a distraction as they juggle housework and other daily responsibilities. A survey conducted by parenting website babycenter.com revealed two and three babies and four and five toddlers have some form of screen time. Overall, as many as one in five watch more than three hours a day. Pediatricians are seeing some damaging effects on vision, sleep, weight, fine motor skill development, and mental health. Especially if screens are used as the only form of um, comfort they might not be able to learn how to emotionally self-regulate or cope on their own. With the advancement of technology, parents might be putting too much faith into screen time. We like to think that, it, that we have these apps that can teach these skills to kids. And so if we're handing them this device and they're learning their colors or something like that, then this is a good thing. The reality is, is that if we're interacting with colors and talking about them, they're also going to learn their colors. And that's probably a better way to do it. Screen time could be a good thing if it's used used in the right way. How do we use this as a tool again to help us to be creative, to make connections, to learn information? And used in that way, they're really a good thing. Use just for entertainment or to occupy, probably not. High quality programming is another option. So not overly distracting from the real world, something that would encourage what they call dual participation, where a parent or a, an older sibling could engage with the app and the child and their surrounding environment. When it comes to the growing mind of a toddler, back to basics is best. And I think that we have to remember that even though technology has its place, both in our classrooms and in our world, it can never replace good, high quality interactions between teachers and children or parents and children. And Dr. Notario also suggested finding apps that allow parents to set a hard stop, which turns the app off after a selected amount of time, so the child learns that screen time is not an ongoing experience.